Balance patch! Oh shit! Yo, Berserker skill damage buff by 1.1%. Mayhem engraving damage increased by 2%. So Mayhem got like a 3% buff. Destroyer! Oh my god, man. Oh, GT got a nerf. Wait, purple skill damage increased by 2.6%. GT got a nerf. Rage Hammer got a buff. Gunlancer. What? What now? Gunlancer? Another buff? Are you kidding me? Skills and PvE increased by 3.2%. Surge Cannon by 4.1%. Charge Singer by 4.1%. Spear shot, dash upper fire, tripods, buffed, counter spear, increased by 2.1, fire bullet, 5%. Holy shit! Wait, identity, battlefield shield, damage increased by 5.1% in PvE. Isn't that combat? Hold on. Paladin, God's Law. Probably God sent law. Attack range has been increased by 30%. So you can cast it further? Divine protection. Cooldown. Oh. Cooldown reduced by 4%. I have 4 seconds. Holy sword. Attack speed increase. Light of judgment. Destruction increased by one, huh? Wait, what? Light of Judgment. Wait, what is that? Slayer. What? Brutal Impact damage increased by 5.8. Volcano Eruption damage increased by 5%. Identity Bloodlust increased by 3.3%. Holy shit, yo, Punisher through the fucking roof again. Whoa, 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 Glavier. Engraving, concentration, control, oh, control Glavier, control Glavier buff. By 4%. 4%? It's better than nothing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Breaker, uh-oh. Oh, reduced by 3.3. .3. Oh, it's a Punisher nerf. Oh, I mean, the skill damage increased. I don't know. Is I, I, I don't know. Oh, reduced. Oh, well. Breaker. Skill common damage and PvE for all skills, including awakening and basic attacks, has been reduced by 1.5. They nerfed both Sura and... And Burger King? And Burger King? Bro, Burger King was perfectly balanced. What the fuck are they doing? What are they talking about? Sura. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. That's the identity. It's been reduced by 10%. Last hit damage of Sura, your basic attack has been reduced by additional 20 Oh, it's the last punch. The punch. Damn, man. That's a huge nerf on Sura. Deadeye. The damage of handgun skills PvE increased by 2.3%. The damage of shotgun skills in PvE has increased by 1.2%. Damage during PvE for rifle skills has been increased by 1.2%. Um... But damage wasn't really the pro. I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure the dead eyes are happy with this. But damage wasn't really the issue for dead eye. It's it's the problem was you keep getting pushed back, right? But I'm pretty sure dead eyes are happy. It's better than nothing. Okay, artillerist. What? Yo, what is this? What is high pressure thermal cold? <laughs> huh? The fuck is high pressure thermal cold? So the damage increased, but the tripod effect 
Oh, the cooldown increased from 6 to 9 seconds. But damage is increased by 30 fucking percent. Holy aerial bombardment. Damage increased by 5.8% in PvE. Missile bombing. Yo, isn't this firepower buff? Chat, isn't this firepower buff? I mean, I'm, I'm guessing it's a buff on both. But I feel like firepower is going to benefit more from it, right? 50% 50, 50 buff in the tripod? Wait, what? Missile bombing damage during PvP has been reduced by... Okay. Missile bombing EMP explosion. Damage increased by 50% on this skill. That's huge. Wait, is that a PvP skill or what? The Atomic Bomb? Uh, the tripod, it went from 126 to 150%. It, I, I'm not... I'm not... I don't know much about Artillerist, but I'm guessing this is a big buff for Firepower, no? I'm guessing it's a big buff for both Barrage and Firepower, but I think Firepower is probably going to benefit more from it, no? Right? Alright, Sharpshooter. What is Aero Tsunami? Your Sharpshooter got buffed. Charging Shot. Oh, airway. <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. Crit chance got nerfed, but damage, critical hit damage increased by 60. <gasps> isn't that a, isn't that a pretty big buff? In craving. Say, loyal companion. 3% buff on the loyal companion class engraving. Machinist. Damage in PvE for all skills except basic attack, hypersync basic attack, and awakening. Has increased by 2.7%. I'm guessing that's a... Wait, what? Is that, is that an AT buff? Okay, AT buff. Legacy. Yo, legacy buff too. Hold on. When a sync skill hits during hyper sync mode, the damage increases by two, four, six percent up to three stacks, which is eighteen percent. And the cooldown of other sync skills, except mobile and wake up skill, wake up skills, is reduced by zero point five percent. Okay, instead of like building up stacks, it's just flat twenty one percent. So it's a 3% buff on Legacy? Not bad. Yo! Gunslinger buff! <laughs> Yo! Finally! Damn, I don't have to hear Gunslinger's cry anymore in my chat. Pistol skills increased by 4.5. Shotgun, 3.5. Rifle skills, 2.2. But another thing though is gunslingers weren't really complaining about the damage. Gunslingers are complaining about the animation, how how the damage is backloaded. But again, I'm pretty sure gunslingers will take this. Uh, it's it's better than before, right? At, at least it's a damage buff. They touched Arcana again. Emperor? The damage of normal skills increased by... Emperor got another 5% buff? Uh-oh. 
Oh oh. Blade Arts. The effect of Blade Arts have been changed as follows. Blade Arts? Isn't that the identity? I believe that is Death Trance, so it only affects Surge. Yeah, I think Blade Arts means the uh, identity. When you enable, before you Surge, when you're building stacks, this is the buff you get, right? Movement speed, attack speed, and attack power. After you turn on your identity when you're building stacks. And the attack power got nerfed. So it's a 6% nerf from Blade. Let me read this in Korean. Hold on. Okay, nothing yet. Yeah, man. Um... Yeah, I think this is the uh, Blade Arts is the uh, identity of of Blades. But I think while Surge turns on the identity before they Surge while the while, while they're stacking and until the Surge, this is the buff they get. And I think that's nerfed. So it's a 6% nerf and surge. 6% of tap power is not a lot. Uh, it's only about 4 weapon hones. So if you had a plus 25, now you have a plus 21. Shadow Hunter. Another buff. Wait, where's Shadow Hunter at? <laughs> Damage in PvE for all skills except basic attack and awakening has increased by 2.4%. Blood Massacre. What? PvE increased by additional 12.2%? Leaf Blow? Are these all... These are the transformation skills, no? Holy shit, yo, that's a lot of buff. That's a huge buff, no? Awakening damage also increased by 8%. Meteorologist, Aeromancer. Damage in PvE for all skills except basic attack and awakening has increased by 4.6%. Aeromancer, 4.6% buff. Wow. Now, where the fuck is Soulfist? God dang it, man. Improvements and error fixes, whatever. Corporation commander, raid commander, what? Bug fixes, whatever. Graphic. The neck has been modified to move more naturally when using the emotion expression prediction success with the wizard class. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the giraffe meme. <laughs> <laughs> oh man not a giraffe anymore okay and other bug fixes wow wow balance patch i'm surprised man i'm surprised they did a balance patch because the director was like well we're not gonna be adjusting numbers anymore we, we kind of want to fix the core issue but then people were complaining too much man the users won they had to change. They had to make some adjustments. But what about Soulfist? Dude, this Gunlancer buff is so big, chat. This Gunlancer buff is so huge. Dude, it's not only a 4.1% buff in Surge Cannon and Charge Singer. It's a 7.3% buff on Surge and Charge Singer. Oh, normal skills mean blue? Okay, so combat readiness got buffed by 3%. And Surge Cannon increased by 4%. Ah, oh, gotcha. Uh, uh, I thought normal skills meant like every skills except for Awakening and stuff like that. 